Enchanted Pony Academy, Chapter 8. The next day, Headmistress Valencia and Headmaster Elegrees led the ponies onto the training field. Each of you must create a routine showcasing your best qualities, the headmistress told them. Of course, you want to include your glitter gift and other skills at which you are particularly adept. Daisy practiced and practiced with her quill so she could write a greeting for the children on a scroll of paper. She tried not to pay attention to everyone else's fabulous routines. Stone had learned to control the sparks coming from his horn and was able to write messages in the air. A quill writing on paper was so boring in comparison. The ponies spent the next few days working on their routines. Sky Dancer created a beautiful flying act that ended with her talking to a pack of birds, then inviting them to fly with her. Duke galloped through an obstacle course, smashing rocks with his hooves along the way. Daisy had no idea what she should do besides write with a quill and summon a weak breeze. It was hopeless. You could sing, Razzle offered. You have a lovely voice. Sky Dancer nodded. And you could share all the interesting things you've learned about the school. You could tell everyone what a good friend you are by keeping us from getting in trouble, Electra said. Yes. We'll cheer you on when you go on the field so everyone knows how much we love you, Sky Dancer said. The ponies started chanting, Daisy, Daisy, Daisy. Daisy felt her cheeks warming in embarrassment from all the attention. Headmistress Valencia held up a hoof to quiet the group. Daisy, I think those are wonderful ideas. You can trot onto the field and sing. Cast a spell or two and your classmates will show their love for you. Then the royal children will have no doubt how wonderful you are. Daisy forced a smile and nodded. She was touched by how much her classmates cared. But it was going to be very hard. Being the only pony at the exhibition who didn't have a glitter gift to show off. And what about her hoofs not making glitter? Would they notice that too? As the rest of the ponies went back to their stables to prepare for dinner, Daisy headed to the river. She wanted to be alone. She settled on the ground, resting her head between her front legs, blinking back tears. But the tears kept coming stronger, and soon she was sobbing. What's wrong? A soft voice asked. Daisy looked up, astonished to see a sea pony staring at her. I didn't know you guys could talk. The pony nodded her head. We're usually shy creatures around creatures from above. But your sad crying called me to the surface. Is there anything I can do to help? I'm Marina. I'm Daisy and I'm the only pony at the academy who doesn't know their glitter gift yet. I'm pretty sure I don't have one. And soon, we have a big exposition with the royal children to show what we can do, and I can't do much of anything. She sniffed. Oh, Marina said sympathetically. It took a long time for me to find my sea savvy, but one day, I discovered I could change colors to blend in with the background. That's amazing, Daisy said. Marina smiled. You'll find your glitter gift. You just have to believe in yourself. Daisy tried not to groan. Everyone kept telling her that, but so far it hadn't worked. Good luck, Daisy. Everything will be fine. You're the first glitter pony I've ever talked to. You're special to me. Thanks, Marina. Marina smiled, then disappeared beneath the water. Feeling better, Daisy trotted back to her stable. She believed in herself. 
didn't she? 